Meditation by itself means resting the mind on one idea or one thought. Yogaha Karmasu Kaushalam. In meditation, we rest the mind on our own hearts with the thought that there is a source of light in the heart. The mind is blank and all the energy is transferred to the heart. Heart is full and mind is blank. You know, in the philosophies, we have two types of welfare, prayers and prayers. Prayers is of the worldly welfare. You know, like having a family, connubial bliss, material possessions, progress, children, grandchildren, you know, that sort of thing. That is prayers. Prayers is where one has a spiritual life of inner well-being, a composed comportment, balanced existence, neither good nor bad, but in between, illat, killat, zillat being predominant, which as I explained means not too much money, or rather little less than what we should need, little less than good health, and lot of critics. So that is the spiritual life. And this concept, Lalaji Maharaj and Babuji Maharaj have modified, that even this is not correct. Because then either you are prayers or you are shreyas. And uh, the prayers lives in the world, among the worldly people, becomes a worldly person himself with his concentration all on material welfare, material pleasures, material well-being. The prayer, the prayers people go off into the hills, sit under trees like this one, meditate, to the exclusion of the world. They obtain liberation or not, we don't know. Many of us are supposed to have been eaten up tigers, been eaten up by tigers. Many died when they went to the Ganga for their bath early morning. And many were not known of later, and many, of course, surfaced much later in history as great rishis and sages. My master always said that a man of spirituality has to live in this world also, whether in a jungle or in a teeming city with its huge population, with its material offerings, its temptations, its uh, accidents. And he has to balance his existence between the two. No Rishi can live without eating, bathing and going to the toilet. Three fundamental needs of all human beings, whether saint or sinner, whether poor or rich. So Sahaj Marg is a balance between Shreyas and praise. An inner life of Shreyas, an outer life of moving away out of prayers more and more, see, towards says, but ultimately culminating in a physical life which demands the minimum of physical material welfare and goes on towards 
inner peace, inner calm, inner satisfaction, inner harmony towards the goal of human life, which is perfection. So the teaching of Sahaj Marg is quite difficult, different often from the teaching of traditional Veda or the traditional yoga, yogic systems, yogic philosophies.